everyone. Today, we're gonna to be talking about water filtration and water softening. We're gonna do an overview of water filters, more or less. A quick review of the different types of filters, what's the difference between a water filter and a water softener. We're gonna talk about hard water, all of those different things. But first, please hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and let me know in your comments what you'd like to see in the future. All right, now, let's get to that filtered water. First of all, there's a never-ending battle of filtered water, softened water, filtered conditioned water, all of these things. So, when do we need it and why? Well, the why behind it is hard water. Everybody has hard water. It just depends on how hard is your water. Now, I'm gonna show you this map that shows all of the nation's areas that have slightly hard water all the way up to extremely hard water. Now, in our area, in North Texas, we have slightly hard water. It's probably some of the least hard water in the nation. And most of that's because our water goes through lakes and muddy bottom lakes, not, we don't have a lot of rock in this area for our lake bottoms. Most of our lakes were dug out of mud or dirt or just flooded valleys that were floodplains. So our water kind of gets naturally softened, or at least some of the hardness taken out of it by all of the, what it flows through, the dirt and the sand and everything else. Those areas that have a lot of rock and granite and that sort of thing, like down around San Antonio and Austin, a lot of limestone, there's a tremendous amount of calcium and magnesium in these rocks. That gets filtered out into the water and starts making the water a lot harder. So what is hard water? Hard water is based on how much calcium and magnesium is in the water. Again, everybody has hard water. It's just whether it's slightly hard or it's extremely hard and everything in between. So what do we do about it? Well, you can either condition the water, which is what we do most of the time here in North Texas because we have the slightly hard water, which means we do something to the water to keep the calcium and magnesium suspended. So you still get the benefits of having these excellent minerals in the water that we need, but it does not stick to your faucets and the inside of your pipes and your water heaters and everything else if you condition it. Now the other option is water softening. Now with water softening, we literally use chemicals, salt in this situation, because we call them a brine tank softener, to remove the calcium and magnesium out of the water. Now, this does not filter the water in any way. It strictly alters the water, it softens it. If you've ever been anywhere in the nation where you get that slimy feel on your skin when you shower, the soap suds up really easy, but it feels like you never wash the soap off. That is softened water. Now, there's nothing wrong with softened water, but if you've never had it before and you didn't grow up with it, then usually it bothers you a little bit because it feels like you never get the soap off. But if you had to live with extremely hard water, then you can't live without a water softener. And many areas of the country have to have water softeners on their systems. Now, I've been talking about all about how hard water feels on your skin and everything, but something even more important, and the reason we condition it, is because hard water is hard on your pipes, it's hard on your water heaters, it scales them up, it makes them less efficient, makes them not last as long, and it'll build up on your faucets and your shower heads, causing them to not spray correctly. All of these things are detrimental to your plumbing systems. So, if you have extremely hard water, you've gotta do something to protect your water pipes and all your water system. If you have slightly hard water, you still get that white buildup of calcium and magnesium on your faucets, your shower heads, in your toilet tanks, that sort of thing. So, most places you either need to condition the water or you need to soften it depending on the level of hardness in your systems. Again, this is talking about hardness. This is not talking about filtration. What is water filtration? Water filtration means we're gonna remove something out of the water that could be dangerous to your health or hazardous. There's all kinds of levels of filtration. Filters as minimal as just taking out sediment, dirt, rust, things of that nature, and filters that go all the way to removing 99% of everything out of the water. Those types of filters are called RO systems or reverse osmosis. The small cartridge filters are just called sediment filters. They just remove basically trash out of the water. And they can go down to pretty small micron, like down to 0.5 micron or 5 micron. And that is good but it doesn't change any of the chemicals or minerals that are in the water. Now, 
From there, we can go anywhere in between. Let's talk about different levels of filtration. As I mentioned, the RO system is 99.9% .9 filtering everything out. It removes chlorine, it removes VOCs, which are volatile organic chemicals. It removes a majority of the fluoride, but it doesn't remove it all. In fact, very few filters remove all the fluoride, but they do remove some. It removes any of your pesticides and chemicals that go into the system. Again, an RO system will give you 99.9% .9 pure water, but RO systems are expensive, and generally you just wanna use them what we call point of use, which means it would be right at your sink, or you can even put them in the bathroom on your lavatory for drinking water in the nighttime or out of the bathroom sink. This has a separate faucet to the side. It's a small flow of water because it takes a lot to create reverse osmosis water. It even wastes some water to do it, but it's the purest water you can get in your home without spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now I mentioned this is what we call point of use. That means it only works for the one faucet that it's hooked up to. Now my ideal thing is a whole house water filtration system. Now, you're going to be hearing me talk a lot about Halo products. We install Halo water filtration systems. And the reason we do it is just like we install state water heaters. Halo is a great brand of water filtration. They give great customer support. They do an outstanding job. And that's the reason we use them, because we want to use a water filter that takes the very best care of our customers. So, you're gonna be hearing me talk about that. There are lots of brands of water filtration systems. I'm sure you've heard of Culligan and you've heard of Brita. Brita you can even put on your water pitcher at home and, and pour through it and you've got filtered water. It's again, the level of filtration. What are we filtering out? The one thing I didn't mention with the RO is chlorine is what a lot of people are concerned about. Of course, an RO system takes the chlorine out, but with a whole house water filtration system, you can also remove the chlorine. A lot of people are very concerned about chlorine in the water. The thing about it is, chlorine is a wonderful chemical. It's probably what makes us live longer than we ever had before. In fact, they say one of the main reasons that we do have a longer lifespan now is because we have clean water to drink. Part of that clean water is caused by putting chlorine in the water. But, do we wanna drink that chlorine? We can remove that chlorine at your home by using a whole house water filter or the RO system, but the whole house water filter removes it through the entire house. And if we're removing that chlorine, we're usually using something like an activated carbon material. That carbon will neutralize and remove the chlorine out of your water. Chlorine is very drying to your skin. If any of you have a swimming pool, we know we treat a swimming pool with a high level of chlorine. Well, it dries your skin out, right? Well, it does the same thing in your shower. Not only that, did you realize your skin absorbs a tremendous amount of water and chlorine that's in the water, drying out your skin, and you're still getting chlorine through the water. So not just taking it out from the drinking water, but taking it out from the water coming into your house that you're showering in, you're washing your laundry in, everything you do, you're washing your dishes in it, all of this is chlorine in the water. So if we remove it where it comes in the house, you don't have chlorine in your laundry, you don't have chlorine in your shower, your skin gets better, it's not as dried out. All of these things are improved by the chlorine. Plus, chlorine also deteriorates the rubber parts in your plumbing systems, rubber washers, flappers on toilets, all of these things. So removing that chlorine out of the water also gives you longer life on some of your plumbing parts. Who doesn't want longer life on their plumbing parts, right? We've talked about the RO filter, we've talked about the whole house filter. So just real quickly, the RO filter that we use is the Halo Ultra Plus. Outstanding unit. It's one of the least wasteful RO systems there are. It's a one-to-one -one system. It wastes one gallon of water to make one gallon. In the past, we've had RO systems that use three gallons of water to make one gallon of clean water. We've had them that even use six gallons of water to make one gallon of clean water. And this is the biggest drawback to an RO. In order to get that completely clean water, it wastes some. The whole house filters we use and the one we prefer is the Halo 5. Now the Halo 5 filter is a special filter because not only is it a water filter, but as we mentioned before about water hardness, it also conditions the water by using what we call an ion inside the unit. It's a patented product from Halo. That ion inside the unit is a series of four magnetic fields that conditions the water so that the calcium and magnesium stay suspended in the water. So now not only do you have highly filtered clean water that you're removing 
95% of all chemicals, VOCs, pesticides, and all the chlorine, you're also getting water conditioning to help prevent the calcium buildup on your faucets. What better way? That's the Halo 5 product. I love the Halo 5 and that's our primary filter that we install here. Now other companies make that, some of them where you can put the filter on and then add an additional product on the outside of the filter to achieve the same type of water conditioning. The Halo 5 just put it all together in one package. It takes up less room and it's guaranteed 10 years. So down from there, we go to the Halo 2.0 Ultimate. Now the only difference in the Halo 2.0 Ultimate and the Halo 5 is they both condition the water, but the Halo 2.0 doesn't ever regen. It's the process that kind of reconditions the media inside the filter, kind of fluffs it up like a pillow because your pillow will go flat every now and then. And that's kind of what happens to the media in a filter. Well, the process is done a little differently on the Ultimate versus the Halo 5. On the Halo 5, it does have a regen system and it discharges about 30 gallons of water every seven days. Where the Ultimate doesn't discharge any water, so you don't have to worry about a discharge of water but its filtration capacity is down about 80 to 85% of what the 90 to 95% filtration is of the Halo 5. The Ultimate is a great filter. It has its specific uses for where you don't have any electricity or you don't have any way to regen the filter and dump water out, but you're sacrificing some filtration for that reason. The Halo 5 is still the ultimate whole house water filtration. We go down from there, we go to some cartridge filters, and of course with any cartridge filter, you're gonna have to replace the cartridges. So they become costly, more expensive. You have to regularly replace those cartridges, and most of the time, at least once a year. Some of them, even more often. We also have sediment filters that are good for wells, where you're getting a lot of sand or dirt types of sediment in your water from like a well system. And of course on wells, that's a whole nother ball game. With wells, you don't know what's in the water. So in order to properly filter a well water system, you have to test the water or have it tested and find out what's in the water so you can tailor make the media for the things that are in that water. Halo does this, we get the water tested, we send it to Halo. It is a bit of a process. It usually takes six to 10 weeks to get a filter system set up for a well system because we do wanna make sure we're filtering out the proper things in there, and the media inside that filter is what we need to tailor make to do that. Do we need a water softener, or do we need a water conditioner? Well, on most well waters, the water's pretty hard because we're bringing the water deep out of the ground, which is usually in layers of rock, and most of those layers of rock have a lot of alkalinity in them, calcium and magnesium. So we usually need to soften that water. Now remember, we're in the North Texas area. Water softeners are very rare around here. Most of the people that want them are people that have lived somewhere else where they had water softeners and they enjoyed the way the water softener made their skin feel. If you grew up in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you've never known of a water softener and you usually hate that slimy feel, but there are times when we need the water softeners. Our Halo product we use for this is the Super Soft Combo. It actually combines the Halo 5 filter with a brine tank water softener. Now we're getting a filtration of the water, we're getting the conditioning of the water, we're getting the softening of the water. What more can you ask for, right? You might even wanna put an RO system at the kitchen sink. That way, you've got the very cleanest water possible. Now, how do you even know what's coming in your bottled water, right? You don't, but if you filter the water right at the point of entry of your house, you know you're drinking pure, clean water. It's the very best way to get the cleanest, purest drinking water you can have. On top of that, the RO Ultra that I spoke about, it actually adds alkalinity back into the water because we mentioned that the RO strips 99.9% .9 of everything out of it. We even add the alkalinity back in. So now you're drinking alkaline water, which costs $4 a bottle at the convenience store. Now you can do it for pennies a day by having an RO system under your kitchen sink that in fuses the alkalinity back in it. We've been talking about the RO Ultra Plus, the Halo 5, the Super Soft Combo, sediment filters, filters for well water, specifically tailored to well water. All of these things 
come into play and just depending on your situation depends on what you need. It's my belief that we all need water filtration systems. More and more these days, more things are going off into our lakes, more runoff water, more different things are going into the groundwater. We need to protect our water systems, both what's going into our water systems and what's coming out of our water system, right? So your point of use water filtration systems, your whole home water filtration systems can make sure that you're drinking and bathing and doing your clothes, laundry, everything in the cleanest water possible. I mentioned with the Halo 5 that it has what we call an ion in it. Now, even if you don't do water filtration, you can add an ion onto your house. There's ion 6, ion 9, ion 12, and on up larger and larger. All of these different size water conditioners are magnetic fields for different size houses. If you have a two bath or a three bath or a four bath or a five bath house, you may need a little bit larger device. This will condition the water even if you don't want a water filter. The conditioning means we take care of that calcium and magnesium and keep it suspended in the water so it doesn't stick to your faucets, damage your water heaters, stick to your pipes, your toilets, everything, causing failure of your plumbing products prematurely. So the Ion is a great product if you don't want to do the entire house filtration. I know I've spoken a lot here about Halo products and the reason is is because that's what we install here at Milestone Home Services. Now. As I said before, there's lots of other water filtration systems out there and lots of great ones. In fact, a lot of them use the same types of media. Some of them use the same control systems of what we call a clack valve on top of the filter systems. They're all good things. No matter what, get water filtration for your home. You'll have better water. I like using the Halo products because I know they work great. I have one at my house. I wouldn't be without it. All that being said, we're not sponsored by Halo. We just use Halo products because they're great products. I hope this has been very helpful and I hope it gives you a little bit better understanding about water filtration. Now, in the future, we're gonna have videos on each individual type of water filtration system and go into much more depth on how they work, what they do, what they remove, all of these things. And we'll do it one at a time. We'll do the Halo 5, the RO, the super soft combo, a water softener, the ion. We're gonna talk about all those in one video each. So keep an eye out for those and make sure you subscribe so you'll get notified when they come out. Thanks for watching today. And just remember to tell your friends, the butler did it. If you don't want to go ahead and do the whole house filter. <laughs>